What's up guys? So hopefully you can see me right now, but we are in the SeaWorld parking lot. And I have not been here, by the way, since like March of 2019. Uh, we got we got Adrian, by the way, Hi. with the light. We are actually here for Howlow Scream, their brand new, well, new for this particular park, haunt event. First time that SeaWorld Orlando has ever done a haunt. Uh, they've done like family friendly Halloween stuff, but never a haunt. So we got four houses to check out. We're definitely gonna ride Mako and we're gonna experience something new. So let's go check it out. All right, we are headed in. Pretty quick walk into the uh, the park. We're about to get our tickets scanned. Security though, very quick. So the first scare zone that we're walking into is called Frozen Terror. <laughs> so here is the entrance to Icebreaker, the coaster that is built, but not open yet. Early next year, it will be open. And I'm excited to check it out. There's some of the track right there. It goes up into a spike. It's like a multi-launch type of deal. Should be fun. So the next zone is called Deadly Ambush. It's very dark, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm going to try to brighten it for you guys. But yeah. We'll try and brighten it up. Welcome to camp. Do be careful now. I'll try. The hunt's begun. All right, we are gonna brave our first house. It's gonna be Captain's Revenge, obviously pirate themed. Not gonna film in the house, not sure if you can, but I am not going to, but I will let you know what I think. So Captain's Revenge was good. I got a couple scares, especially at the end. Uh, the treasure room was probably my favorite, but up next, we're gonna hit Dead Vines. Adrian here says that it's a pretty scary one. Are, are you gonna get got? I'm gonna get got at least once. All right. So we did Dead Vines, pretty solid. I actually really liked a lot of the scenic. The scares are pretty good. I think I liked it a little more than the Pirate House. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Up next, we are not doing a house. We are getting on Mako, one of my favorite rides in town and I cannot wait to ride it again. Let's go. All right, Mako was awesome. We got a back row ride, some good floater airtime. By the way, also just so you know, we are walking through the Pirate Zone now. See? Pirates everywhere. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> um, but like I was saying before the pirates came along, back row ride, floater airtime, they are running one train ops, so just an FYI, it does take a while. But it was a great ride. Anyways, more pirates. <laughs> All right, we are heading into one last scare zone that we have not seen. It is Witchcraft Bayou. All right, we are now backtracking to the front oh, of the park. Stay in there, that's oh. how you die. You're, you have a good point. <laughs> like I was saying, uh, we are actually headed back to the front of the park. We are walking back through Deadly Ambush now. Of the scare zones, this is probably my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. I think I like this one the best. But, oh, hello, and that's why. The scare actors are very interactive in all the zones, actually. I'm very impressed. Some cool set pieces as well, but this one's probably my favorite. Oh man. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, ah <laughs> All right, time for another house. We're gonna check out beneath the ice. All right, beneath the ice. Pretty good. I got my best scare so far in that house. Basically, a guy came around, got his hand in front of me, and then got out of his spot, followed me, and did it again. So. Props to that guy. Although I will say the scenic in there was I think a little lesser than the first two we did. So if you like the scares more, that one might be your move. But I think scenically, maybe the other two. But now we are going to head into the final house that we need to do and that is Water's Edge Inn. So we'll see how it goes. Guys, Water's Edge Inn, that was legit. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely had the best scenic of all the houses and it had the best scares for me. I got scared several times. Actors were super interactive, super creepy, amazing. Great house, although a little short. Uh, we're gonna need you to uh, help show off this house shirt. Oh, I got you, I got you. All right. There's a light yeah. right there. It's pretty cool, you got all the houses, you got Mako, and then a random scare zone. So I'm probably gonna cop it, but yeah. I like it. On the way out, here's one more look at some icebreaker track. And with that, we complete our first ever night at the first ever Hollow Scream. All right, so some thoughts on Hollow Scream. We were able to get through all four houses, see all the zones and do Mako in like a little under two hours, which is pretty solid to be honest. The whole thing is like a straight line. So you kind of have to go to the end and then come back. Uh, but that was cool. My favorite house is probably Water's Edge Inn, even though it was a little bit short. The scenic was really good and the scare actors were so good. Honestly, the scare actors throughout this whole event, I cannot give enough props to because they were all super interactive. Um, the zones are very dark, so I have no idea what my footage looks like, but nonetheless, it was such a great time. Great to ride Mako again. Great to do some new haunted houses and uh, good, to, good to hang out with Mr. Losh TV over here, by hey, the way. Me. Was it was a Water's Edge in your favorite house? Yeah, I mean, after that walkthrough as well, like all the interaction, just yes, Chef's kiss Chef. for Water's Edge in. But yeah, that is gonna do it. So good time at the event, and that's it. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.